Well, we changed all the IP addresses in here yesterday. So one question is, did we even get it right? But this is an interesting exercise is the other thing is part of this was to, so we could talk about segmentation because it's becoming more and more important that we segment networks as they continue to grow in size. And so I didn't segment them down to each individual station because I wanted to, to kind of be more like the plant floor is I segmented it so that there will be two stations together because we also have some produced and consume exercises that kind of realistically probably wouldn't have been segmented. So now I need to check all these IP addresses. Now I can plug into each one of these computers and I know some of y'all have Pronetta, some of you have your Alan Bradley, who active, but I want to see all of them at the same time. And you know, as cool as the SIM IPE is, I really don't want to sit here and scroll up through all of them. So let me show you a cool way that you can use it and export it to a CSV file. So I have my SIM IPE plugged into what I'm gonna call my flat network. So this is gonna show all the devices in the training center. Cause I want them to see the reason we would segment. And I'm gonna discover device on this. And we can see it scrolling up. And already to check our network, I mean, it would be brutal to kind of go through here and check all these off. So what I'd like to do is get this list to a CSV file. So I'm gonna go down here to my start menu and I'm gonna start typing putty in. We're gonna get our putty. This is just a telnet session that you can use. I already have one configured for the PLC lab IPE, but let's go ahead and load that just so you can see. All I did is I have the IP address here, port 23, other, and we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And so it was able to connect to the SIM IPE, and yeah, these are some options you can actually get out of this. And what I wanna do is I want to export the latest discovery results to a CSV. So I'm gonna type C, enter, and that's gonna spit all that information out. I'm gonna right click that, and we are going to copy all to clipboard. And I'm gonna go over here to my spreadsheet, and I'm just gonna paste it in, and click OK. And so there's all the devices that it was able to discover out on the flat network. Now I wanna test my first segmented station network. And so I'm gonna plug into station seven here. And then we're gonna to go to discover device again. And it will let it sit here. And here's a good example. Now I have an issue. I'm on a segmented network. I can't get to my um, station over there. But what I can do is I can let this go up and it looks like it's done. So I'm just gonna unplug it and I'm gonna carry it with me. Now here's the thing is we're on the discover device. It's still trying to discover. I'm gonna hit cancel and go back to the main menu. Now it's not discovering it. And I can plug into my network that my computer is on and not touch the IPE. And then actually I did kill our putty session when I unplugged it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that again. Grab that PLC lab IPE session and open it up. And then we're gonna type C, enter. And so that will get the results that was stored from that last discovery, even though we're not plugged into that network now. And so I'm gonna copy all that to the clipboard. And then actually gonna add another sheet here on my spreadsheet. And I'll go ahead and paste that in. And we see we have a much shorter result list. And I'm gonna go ahead and label this one as station seven and eight. Well, I'm gonna try to label it. Why does it not let me? Oh, it's over here. I'm, I'm driving through my phone. Sometimes I can't see what's going on. So yeah, this is station seven and eight. And now I'm gonna go do the exact same thing to stations five and six, three and four, and one and two. All right, so I got them pared down and sorted, and mainly here is station one, here is station two, and then we have a little bit of variety of other items for them to work with. And mainly I got, I have, um, yeah, they have a Micro 850, they have a Micro Logics 
fourteen hundred of them. And you know, when I here's a good example. So I'm looking here at the SIP protocol, and we should also have a Profinet device on here. So I'm going to add a Profinet or a Siemens S7 1200 to this segment here. But what I want to do right now is we just want to compare. And yeah, they all look exactly the same. Actually, if you notice, this one does have one more, but it's because it grabbed an ARP entry. And not that they're not important, but that's not important for what we're trying to figure out here. And while you're at it, since it's Ethernet IP, we do get a gateway subnet. We get the revision, so we got a compact guard logics running version 35 there. But we also have a 1756 L81. It's running version 37 there. All right, so I updated station 7 and 8 so that they could see a few Profinet devices too. And that'll give them a nice mix. Now, we probably should talk about segmentation sometime. You know, my purpose in this is to give them just enough that they're going to be exposed to what they see in the plant. Not so much that they're just ridiculously scrolling. So one, hopefully you already have a network list, but if you don't have a network list, then yeah, grab your SIM IPE, plug it in, and yeah, start making you a spreadsheet.